When Britain's King George V sailed into Belfast Harbour 100 years ago today, he was coming to set the seal of approval on a new political dispensation for the North. Unionists had been fighting against a Home Rule Parliament in Dublin for more than a decade. Now they had their own Parliament for six of Ulster's nine counties. Two weeks before, the Northern Parliament had met to elect Sir James Craig as Prime Minister. The state opening by the King was the formal acknowledgement of Northern Ireland. For the King coming to Ireland at such a, a time of intense political violence, it's no surprise to learn that his own advisers did not want him to come, but they were able to maintain the security. It was largely a loyal crowd, obviously. Inside City Hall, the King spoke to a glittering audience and called for an end to the War of Independence which continued to rage in the rest of Ireland. I pray that my coming to Ireland today may prove to be the first step towards an end of strife amongst her people. I appeal to all Irish men to pause, to stretch out the hand of forbearance and conciliation, to forgive and to forget, and to join in making for the land which they love a new era of peace, contentment and goodwill. His real audience was the Sinn Féin leaders in the South and that he was encouraging them to come to the peace table sooner rather than later. Within days, the British invited Eamon de Valera to talks and a truce was arranged, eventually leading to the treaty which ended the War of Independence and established the Irish Free State. But attempts to include Northern Ireland in the new state failed. Craig told British officials he would sit on Ulster like a rock. He had his parliament and he had no intention of coming under Dublin's control. But the new parliament did not bring peace to Northern Ireland. Far from it. Even though the truce came into effect on the 11th of July, you could argue that there was no truce in the north and particularly not in Belfast. The deaths continued in Belfast for the rest of 1921 and the killing became even more intense in the early months of 1922. Hundreds died, many more were forced from their homes or their jobs. Despite the King's plea, the new parliament had anything but a peaceful birth.